Hey, it's Low for Low Nose Tech back at you with another tech look. And today we're looking at the Cinda wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Uh, this offers three different types of connection. First, with the included USB dongle, so you can connect through a 2.4 gigahertz connection with your normal dongle that you're used to. And also two independent Bluetooth uh, connections, such as I can connect it to my laptop and I can connect it to my computer or I can connect it to my my smart device, like my my, my iPhone you know, different ways of connecting this mul uh, simultaneously. So I've been using this keyboard for about a week and I want to share my thoughts uh, with you on this care keyboard from the way it feels to how it looks and also the functionality as well. Uh, let's get to the predictable re-unboxing of this keyboard. So right off the bat, as soon as I saw this keyboard, like, man, this gives me some Apple vibes. If you're a PC user like I am, as soon as you see this, like, oh man, it's like I'm using an Apple keyboard. It looks very much similar to, uh, to it. Uh, as soon as you open it, you get like a little like, kind of like a rubber membrane that you put over the keyboard. Uh, gives the keys a nice, soft, uh, cloudy feel when you use it. And also it protects the keyboard from getting dirty as well. Put that to the side, we'll put that on later. And here we go, here is our keyboard. And again, it's very, very, very reminiscent of an Apple keyboard. So, bring it off to the side. And yeah, it's just as far as like the color, the thinness of this, this is just, I mean, it's just flat. Uh, the only difference is, <laughs> I guess from a, your current Apple keyboard, it's got the number pad right here, or is it even smaller like right here? I don't know, but it's very reminiscent, very minimalist. And yeah, you just got it going right here. That's it. It feels very soft and smooth. It's just, it feels like a nice flat, flat, but soft experience. Uh, taking a closer look, you've got your power switch on the back, your charging port right there. Uh, there's no additional razors. This just goes by the uh, by the hump that's already right here. That's the kind of a uh, lift you get by default. And of course, you've got all your, all your functions right here in order to switch. And yeah, let's see what else we got inside the box here. Uh, you've got your charging cable for your mouse and your keyboard. We'll put that to the side. And of course you have your mouse as well. And then we've got instructions uh, as well. Um, super straightforward to get this thing going and I'll show you exactly how to do this. Now, uh, for the rest of this video, we'll show you how to connect it using the 2.4 and how to connect it through the Bluetooth uh, as well uh, through different sources. So, you know, I'm just gonna go and put this membrane over it because I, I like it with the membrane on. Look at that. That just looks nice. I just feels nice. It's so quiet and soft. Oh man, wish you could uh, actually feel what I'm feeling right now. This is awesome. Um, off the bat, the keyboard feels nice. It's got a nice sturdy, good weight to it. It's not heavy. It's not light. It does not feel cheap. It feels really good in the hand. As far as the mouse is concerned, um, don't worry about the rattling. The rattling is just kind of uh, the dongle that's inside of it. We'll take that out. Um, the key, the mouse is light, but it does feel, it's very plastically. I, I wish it had a little bit more weight and I wish it was made out of the same material as the keyboard. But yeah, as far as looks, you know, it does pass the look test. Uh, when we look under uh, the mouse, we can see the on and off switch. We can bring it on. We have our, our dongle indicator and our two separate Bluetooth indicators. And if we want to switch, we can just go by pressing it, it goes to the next one and then to the next one. Then you have our DPI, this this improves uh, the dot, or it sets the dot per inch settings, uh, depending how you like it. So if you're moving in and it feels kind of like it's moving too fast or it's too slow, you can press that button and it'll adjust to your liking. Uh, you, you can set it from there. All right, so let's get straight into it. I'm just gonna plug this in. It's a real simple setup. All right, I've got it plugged in and now I'm connected and good to go. Oh, let me turn it off first, there we go. Okay, and you can see how my light indicator shows up there as far as we're connected. And I, yeah, and I can just press my Windows bar and I mean, yeah, there, there's nothing much. It's, it's a keyboard. I, w I will tell you this, it does feel nice. Oh, did I turn this on? Yes, I did. Am I connected? Yes, I am. And there's my mouse, yeah. Um, I will tell you this, this is a nice feeling keyboard, especially if you're into the minimalist. I don't want to give Apple too much props here, but if, especially if you're into that, that low profile look, this is definitely, um, it works with that no problem. Now, if you want to connect this to an additional device, we're going to leave this plugged into my USB port on the computer. Let's connect it to my laptop. So that's really simple. 
uh, you will just go to your normal Bluetooth device and you're gonna have to do this separately for each device. So we go to add Bluetooth, uh, add Bluetooth device, and then we'll go to mouse and keyboard. And now what I wanna do in order to switch, I'm gonna go to Bluetooth number one and I'm gonna hold it until it starts flashing. Okay, it's flashing. Then it will pop on my end as far as Bluetooth 2.G KB, that means keyboard. And I'll go ahead and select, select that. All right, and now my keyboard is connected. As you can see when I press the, uh, the, the Windows key. And we can do the same thing for the mouse. So I'll just go and press. And when it's on one, I'm gonna hold it until it starts flashing. There we go, it's flashing. Then I'll go to my Bluetooth. And we'll see Bluetooth 2.4G mouse. I'll select that. And then my mouse is working and I'm good to go. All set up. You know, again, I, I like the way the mouse, it moves. There's nothing wrong. You know, as far as the clicking, it's, it's, it is what it is. Um, I kind of just wish it was a little more uh, solid and a little more weightier, but you know, the, the keyboard itself is it feels nice. All right, last connectivity. Let's connect my action. Let's connect my phone to it so I can show you the switching between all the devices. So let me go to we'll go to Bluetooth. All right, and then we'll switch it. I'm going to hold the Bluetooth number two until that switches. And when it starts flashing, there we go. It pops up and I'll just press keyboard. Yes. All right. For some reason, my thing is on. All right. And I'm connected there and we can go to something like uh, notes. You can see how it's just no problem. Now you can also connect the mouse to the, uh, your phone as well. Very limited functionality, but it works great in notes as far as scrolling. So setting that up is easy. Again, we'll go to there. We're waiting for our Bluetooth. We'll switch over to Bluetooth number two, and then we'll hold it until it starts flashing. There it is. It finds the mouse. We'll just pick the mouse. Okay, and it's paired. And there we go. And now let me go back to my notes. And then you can see here, I can even use the dial to mess with this. Yeah, pretty, really simple. Now, here's it. If you want to switch between all the devices, all you have to do is just tap. So I can tap that one. Uh, the 2.4G, the wireless dongle, and I'm connected to my computer. Tap Bluetooth number one, I'm now connected to my laptop. And then number number three, I'm now connected to my phone. Super simple, super easy. Again, uh, I really like the way this <laughs> this keyboard looks and feels. Man, I, I and I'm, I'm really digging it. And it, and this little membrane that's over it, just got a nice, oh, oh no, let me go back over oh. It's just got a nice feel to it, whether it's on or, or off. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I level with the membrane on instead. Whew. All right. All right, so we go. So that's the Cinda. That's the Cinda wireless keyboard. Uh, the Cinda wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Um, really hope this helped you out and give you an understanding of what you're going to get yourself into and the functionality of it. And also the look and the feel is oof, nice. I like it. Okay. Really hope that helped you out. Take care. Bye-bye. As always, I leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own Cena wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can check out future videos. Hit that like if you like what's going on. If you like what's going on here, and also ding that notification bell button so you can be notified for future videos. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Stopping by. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. All right. You know, man, you are you are just too sexy. Can I talk to a keyboard like that? I don't know. I don't know.